The technology keeps getting better. Today, we're gonna to talk about custom GPTs and how you can use them in your business. All right, so Rajiv and I are coming to you live from New Orleans, Louisiana. We're getting ready to speak tomorrow to all of the uh, global marketing directors yeah. for Berkshire Hathaway Home Services brand tomorrow. And we're excited really to, while we're here with our travel clothes on, a little you know common uh, clothes here, we're going to go through and we're going to talk to you about some specific things that have changed a little bit on ChatGBT. And I know this is an exciting time. We did a previous episode. Do you want to bring that up? We did one on... Yeah, we did one on uh, plugins, top five plugins, Jimmy. That, and plugins were the first first time that ChatGPT introduced workflows where you can extend the functionality of ChatGPT into like a bold, like you talked to, that was your favorite plugin, like Write Like Me. Yeah. Uh, we had VoxScript, DocMaker, all of those were extensions of ChatGPT into a third party system. And that's what really was plugins. And there we got an announcement and that's what was the precursor to kind of thinking about doing this episode yeah. because we wanted to, um, ChatGPT made an announcement that they were basically retiring plugins. Uh, and they were going to custom GPT. So this is all about custom GPTs and why you should care and how you can maximize it as a real estate professional. Yeah, and it's exciting times because again, as this technology progresses, it's not going backwards, it's getting better. So you want to talk about exactly what a uh, custom GPT is? Yeah, so if you think about uh, plugins, let's kind of take a step back and kind of level set for everybody that's listening to this. A plugin is simply, you need it to be a developer to build a plugin. Right, Jimmy. I mean, I know you're you're good with technology, but your tech skills, or even me, I've I've not coded in a long time. Mm -hmm. So you need to be a developer to build a plugin. And there were when we did the episode, there were like 1,200 plugins mm -hmm. that could extend ChatGPT's workflow. And enter custom GPT, where ChatGPT said, "We don't need developers to build a plugin or our custom GPT." As long as you can prompt something, you can communicate something, you can build a GPT. That's it. So this is going to be crazy and it was announced in January and there's over 3 million GP, custom GPTs in the GPT store. Yeah. So we talked about plugins like an app store concept. Here now you really have access to a plethora of plugins. I mean actually GPTs that we can get into. We also have our top five so stay tuned until the end. Yeah. It's a little bit leveling the playing field as far as you know someone that is not as tech savvy. Now they've got access to this. Those that are can literally create. It's just something that I think that's going to be super exciting because you don't have to have the technology background now to be able to be technologically savvy and this is what's going to be super exciting for us. Now let's go through a couple of these our favorites. I know you've got a few that you Yeah. Like so so Again, we're coming back to the custom, uh, the plugin episode that we did earlier. Your favorite was the bold, it is. which is like yeah. Write Like yes. Me. So my one of my top five is Write Like Me. Mm -hmm. It's called Write Like Me. So this is a paid option. Obviously, you have to have the chat GPT paid. And if you go click Explore GPTs on the left of your menu on custom on uh, chat GPT, you can search all of the custom GPTs. And the chat GPT is doing a good job now to feature the better ones to the top. The right like me is one of them. Yeah, and that's the one that obviously I will just immediately roll right into yeah. as soon as the transition happens. So yeah. What about others? So Humanize Pro is a second one that I love. And this is, you know, as you know, Jimmy, AI is like burst on the scene. So there's a lot more content that's AI generated. So you can write the article with AI and then put it into Humanizer Pro without changing the context of the article. It truly humanizes the theme of the article so you get more with organic traffic towards it. So Humanizer Pro is all accounts for digital marketers. Everybody's a marketer. Right, right exactly. So uh, Humanizer Pro is another one that has made my top five. And look, it's very hard to pick five right. from three million. That's right. So don't hold us to it. Yeah. If, you, if you come meet us in like 60 days, our five might change. Yes. But here are our five from NOLA. Here's the five. That's right. right. That's number two. Yeah. For sure. So if, we, if we're looking at this, we're, a lot of these are similar to the same things we were using before. Yeah. It's, just, it's just been rotated in where it's now got more capabilities and it's easier to utilize. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So let's go to number three, and this was also in our plugins, yeah. block script. So think about video, transcribing videos, asking questions about what was discussed in the video. All of that is a custom GPT with block script. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's probably like a ton of GPTs for video. But Voxscript, you can't go wrong with Voxscript. Yeah. So VOX script is 
number three on our top five list. Well, we're rolling right through them. Let's head on into number four then. Number four. So, you know, we all deal with a lot of PDFs, Jimmy, right, in real estate. And uh, like the Home Buyers and Sellers Guide from NAR, like 138 pages. I have a lot of patience, but not patience to read 138 pages. I could simply upload that to the AI PDF custom GPT, just start asking you good questions. What does this report say about first time home buyers? Right, it spits it out. So it's really tailored to connect to the internet and access that GPT. We've used this also with inspections. We've used yeah. it with long form con- you know, things that were out there. It's been great even to utilize for any of these bigger, longer PDF type version things to really, it's almost like giving you the cliff notes. Right. And, the things that are, and like you say, you can be very specific. If you're trying to find specific terms or things that are details that are in there, you just ask it for those things and it spits it right out to you. Yeah, and it, contracts, again, make sure you don't upload anything that's confidential. But if you upload a contract, what is the termination on this contract? Right. Sort of trying to go to the right. all it. So, so AI PDF is my number four on yeah. the list. So. Drum roll for number five. Number five is DocMaker. We add this as a uh, plugin yes. as well. And so, one of the things ch- you, we're good at Chat GPT is ask, prompting it, asking it questions. Uh, and when you arrive at the content, whether it's for a blog article, social posts, across all the channels, you can simply say, hey, make this into a Google Doc, make this into a Excel Doc, and it just gives you a link. So you don't have to copy, paste, and do all of those things. So again, productivity enhancement. So DocMaker is number five. I don't know if I have a number one off the five, but these five are good go-tos for you. Yeah, and it's again, these are just rolling to the next generation of what this technology is available uh, for yeah. people to do. And, and I think one of the things we want to eventually do, and I know we may get to it, is should agents consider building one, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So there's three million. So start using some and get comfortable with it. But we all know that if we don't know what the prompt was going into it, especially if we want to build one for marketing, real estate marketing. Uh, You know, I'm building one now for organic optimization of blog posts, Mm -hmm. right? So if you post all the article, it'll give you a headline, the meta tags, the title tags, all of it. But I know what went into it, so I, I can have more trust in what comes out of it. So if you build one, but I don't know the prompt that went into it, which is really all the three million. Mm-hmm. After a while, you may not trust me output as much as what you build one. So I think eventually you'll build one, but there's three million. Start using them. Yeah. And uh, if it makes sense, you should build one if you don't find one. That's right. That, listen, we know this technology is going to continue to get better and better. We're going to continue to try to bring the most value possible to you where you don't have to go figure all this out. We're going to sift through everything and bring those ideas to you. Listen, we're going to enjoy some good food here the next few days in New Orleans, aren't we? Beignet, <laughs> oh boy, are on my list, Jimmy. And I'm sure there's a couple that I'm missing. Oh, uh, we got us some fried okra. Yeah. I've seen that. Welcome to the very Friday. Oh, Sunday, right. I, I'm doing a uh, underground donut tour on one of these days. So this is, <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. going to be good. I know. It's good stuff. Can't wait. Stay tuned, guys. We'll have more more information for you coming in the next few episodes. Again, if you haven't had a chance yet to go out there and leave us a review, please do so. It helps us spread the word that we're all stronger together. Take care and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful and I'll talk to you soon.